Okay, with number 34, example 5, he basically, we're now doing a directional problem. So this is a little bit on the flip side of angle of elevation, angle of depression. This is the other side of it when we're doing directional problems. And it says from point P, so starting here in point P, I've kind of started to draw the picture a little bit. Two boys hike 2.3 miles in the direction of north 25 degrees west to point Q. So the length of this side is 2.3 miles. And here's the question, is how do I draw that angle? Is this whole angle inside here the 25 degrees? And that's the key with directional problems. No, it's not. Angle of elevation and, and depression are always with respect to the horizontal. Angles of, when you're doing directional, you always have to give yourself a vertical reference. Okay, so in this, I'm doing a vertical reference through point P, because it says from P. And we're going to go north to west. So obviously up here on the top is north. And if I'm going to go west, I'm going to go to the left. If it said east, I would go right. But west, I'm going to go left. So from the north, I'm going west. And that right there is my angle. And only that part is 25 degrees. So not the whole corner right there. Just from the north left or north right, depending on what's given to you. Okay. So angle of elevation and depression, give yourself a horizontal bearing. And either look up or look down. Directionals, you're going to give yourself a north-south bearing if it's northeast, northwest, southwest, southeast. Those are kind of like your angles that you're forming is all throughout that. Okay? Definitely something just kind of keep in mind as we go throughout that, but we're going to get more practice. Alright, let's go back to the problem and finish reading a little bit more. And it says from point Q. So from here, the boys are going to hike 4.1 miles. So now here's the distance here. And if you can, try to get the sides symmetric. You know, if this one down here is 2.3, obviously the one along here needs to be longer since it's 4.1. So definitely keep that in mind because if you can have a picture that's somewhat close to re realistic, it really does help. Now they say that they're going to hike these 4.1 miles in the direction of north 65 degrees east. Okay. So at Q, give yourself your north-south bearing that we have to do, and it says northeast. So from the north, we're going to go right to the east, 65 degrees. Okay. Now the question says, now that the boys are landed at R, what we have is the fact that they want us to know is how on earth are we going to return back to point P from R. So that helps because we're at R, how am I going to get from R back to point P? And so what I would say is obviously P is southwest, okay? So your answer is just not southwest. That would be way too easy. What we need to know is the angle. Well, from R, we're going to go from the south side, the lower side, and we're going to go that direction, so southwest, and let's call that theta. So all we have to do is find theta, and that is going to be our answer, okay? So let's go about that. Well, I think I have a right triangle, but so before we can even get started, we have to know, if, can I even use my rules of Sokotoa to solve for this out? I think I have one, but let's check. Well, if we have two parallel lines, here's one line, here's two lines, and we have a side that's bisecting it, since this is 25 degrees, I know that this is 25 degrees. Okay. So let's see what's happening in right here. This is a straight line, and I know that straight lines is 180 degrees. I know part of it is 65. I know part of it is 25. So what's that last little missing piece in there? That will we'll make it a question mark. Well, 65 and 25, what is that? 90 degrees. So the only thing I can add on to 90 degrees and still get 180 is 90. So that's a good check to know that, yes, for sure, that's my 90 degree angle. So I can use my rules of Sokotoa definitely beneficial. Now something else to know about symmetry is let's look at this angle we're asked to find. This curve right here is theta. Well another angle that's also symmetric to that, do you all see how it's only that other half that 25 degree angle? Because if this is a vertical line and that's a vertical line and this is the bisector this time, then that is symmetric with that. So let's call that angle alpha. Alright, now let's go into our trig. Since we know that we have a right triangle, let's see what we can do. With respect to this whole angle sitting right in here, so that whole angle being 25 and theta together, I know the side opposite 
which is 4.1. I know the side adjacent, which is 2.3. So if we can combine those two topics together, opposite and adjacent, you get the tangent of 25 degrees and alpha. So those two angles together, which makes that whole interior angle, is going to be the side opposite, which is 4.1, over the side adjacent, which is 2.3. Again, I'm asked to find an angle. So if I want to get rid of the tangent part, then 25 degrees and alpha together is going to be the inverse of the 4.1 and 2.3. Okay, so then all we have to do to really get our answer for alpha is subtract the 25 over. So alpha is going to be the inverse tangent. We have to do that operation first in our calculators, and then after we're done, then we're going to subtract 25 degrees. And when I do this in my calculator, I basically get alpha to be, let's see, 35.7086, so forth. Well, if we go up into our problem, what we were given, it's like, in other words, what's our, what's our significant digits? You know, what do we round to? Well, since angles were 25 and 65, sides were 2.3 and 4.1, everything's in two significant digits. So let's just round alpha to two significance, and we'll call it 36 degrees. And that way I don't really have to do degrees and minutes because I only needed just two numbers, which filled up the degree portion. Okay, so overall answer, since alpha was the same as what theta was over here, then my answer is then south, 36 degrees west. And that is the whole answer for that problem. And it makes sense if you kind of look to your problem, that looks like a 36 degree angle, you know, as opposed to 120. Definitely would have issues if it was 120. So I'm like, ooh, that does not look to scale whatsoever. So it looks like we did a pretty good job. So let's try this again with number 38 in the book, which is example six. Okay, and just reading through this example, it says, from city A, a helicopter flies 75.2 miles. So we have the length of this side. I try to start drawing the triangle for us already. But 75.2 miles in the direction of north, 39 degrees, 10 minutes west to city B. Okay, so from A, give ourselves a north-south bearing since we're dealing with an angle. We go north, so I'm going to start from the top side and go west, so go to the left. And that angle right there is 39 degrees and 10 minutes, okay? And then from City B, so give yourself a reference on City B, so it says from there, the helicopter then flies 23.3 miles in the direction of south, 50-50 west. So now I'm looking at the bottom side, the south side, to the west, 50 degrees and 50 minutes, to part to City C. So what is the bearing of city C from A? That's the question. So you have to understand is from A, so if you put your pin on A on the north-south part of it, how am I going to get over to C? Well, you kind of have yourself two options. If you go from the north side of it, you're going to go north and down to here, and there's your angle that you have to find, all of that. If we do it from the bottom coming up, so from the south going that direction, See how you don't know anything going on over there? If I at least use the, the north to the west, I know half of my angle. I know part of it's 39 degrees and 10 minutes. And then all I have to do is get this interior angle right in here, and I'm done. But if I just go with this thing way down here, I have absolutely nothing. So I'm going to go with more of the upper portion that uses part of, for one thing, it uses the inside of my triangle, and it definitely uses uh, a part of an angle that I already know, the 39 degrees, 10 minutes. Okay. So from A to get back to, to get over to C, we're going to go from the north side of that of our bearing, and we're going to go west, and then all we need to do is find this angle sitting right in there, okay? Where half of that angle is basically 39 degrees and 10 minutes, and then let's add on, let's call that interior angle, let's just call that alpha. We'll go and declare that right there. So we'll make that interior angle of this triangle A, alpha, okay? All right, so now from there, what can we find? Well, like before, we need to check. Do we have a right triangle? If this angle right here is 39 degrees and 10 minutes, that's symmetric with this angle right here. So let's check. What is 50 degrees and 50 minutes if I add on 39 degrees and 10 minutes? Well, the two, adding the two minutes will encompass a full degree, so that can bump that up to 40. 
and 50 and 40 is 90. So that means right here I have a right triangle. So here's the hypotenuse if you need to see it. And here's two sides of that right triangle. Okay, so from there, let's see what we can do. Our whole goal is to get alpha, right? Because if I add alpha and all I have to do is add on 39 degrees in 10 minutes, then I get my full angle. So with respect to alpha, I know the side opposite, which is 23.3. I know the side adjacent, 75.2. I don't really need to know the hypotenuse, so let's go with tangent again. So the tangent of that angle, which is alpha, is the side opposite, 23.3, over the side adjacent, 75.2. We want to get alpha by itself, so we're wanting to get that angle. So we're going to use our inverse function. So 23.3 over 75.2. Okay, and by the time we put that in our calculator, and if you want to go ahead and get practice um, converting that already to decimals and then minutes, or degrees and minutes, I would probably round it, let's say, oh gosh, to the nearest. So what, what's going to come out for me? What I get is basically 17 degrees, and it looks like 13 minutes. So if you want to round that, since all the other ones were in just 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 kind of thing, then we can say alpha is 17 degrees and just 10 minutes. Okay, that's not our full answer. Just remember that all that is is that piece right there. So to get our overall answer, what we're going to do is add it to 3910. So our answer is going to be north. And if we add those two together, so 3910 plus 17 degrees in 10 minutes. 39 and 17 is 56. So 56 degrees, 20 minutes west. And there's our overall answer of what you'd have to do to get from A back to C. Okay, so definitely these last two were a little easier than that one that had to do with the Mesa. But like I said, I suggest definitely go back and look through that one again. It's going to be very, very beneficial for you all to do that.